today. From NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. It's a special New Year's Eve edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Deshaun Watson. And the Houston Texans versus Justin Herbert and the Columbus Caps. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. They do it big here in Houston, and a second ago, it was a Texas-sized welcome for their hometown guys. They're fired up and ready to go as they get set to match up with their opponents. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. The Texans offense going to go to work, and it is Deshaun Watson at quarterback. Coming off of a loss their last time out, I think he's just seeking to make a bigger impact on the game. He threw a touchdown pass, didn't throw an interception. I think he just wants to jump those numbers up in terms of flinging it around and letting his receivers get into the end zone. Now a first down throw, Watson. Pressure comes and down he goes. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Well, we knew coming in it was going to be a long afternoon if they weren't able to hold up against this pass rush, huh? What we didn't know was that protection was going to spring a leak on the first play from scrimmage. Got after him right out of the gate. Another try after the first down sack. Watson, and he will find his man on the outside. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Now Watson. Buying time to his left. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for him. And if you're not going to use a spy, you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that, all he does is hurt you. Have to at least be a leap, and he's got it. He got it. And he's able to get this way down deep into enemy territory. A huge play there for Houston. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Watson. A great play there. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Texans take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Extra point safely through. And it's now a 7-0 game. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone. This one fielded at the five. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And at quarterback from the University of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. You enjoyed watching that game tape, didn't you? Yeah, Last week's game. Good. Four Maybe. touchdowns, one pick. Now, you were a little upset about the pick. I didn't know if you would play him this week or not <laughs> if you were the head coach. Hey, they got the win. They got the win, so you're going to give him another okay, chance? give him another shot. All right, I think the ratio is pretty good. He'll try to eliminate the interception, but he wants to keep that hot streak going, throwing touchdown passes. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. 
Well, he gets attended to. He'll step aside. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. On first and 10, Herbert flushed out right. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Herbert on first down now. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. This is caught. Touchdown. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Caps are an extra point away from drawing level. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would, because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing, because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a give, right side, McNeil. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Out of the gun, Watson. And this one quickly to Lamb. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. He's certainly one of those quarterbacks that can burn you with his mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right there about how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment, but they were still able to continue to bring such strong touchdown, Houston. Two first-quarter touchdown passes now for Deshaun Watson, and the Texans have taken the lead. Point after here coming up. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So that drive spanned five plays, and the result, a Houston touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Over the middle, it's complete. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score.
The throw on the quick slant going to be complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Oh, he's got him in wide open, complete. Herbert back to the air. And it's caught, touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Cavs are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. That time, a six-play drive. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Texans offense set to regain possession. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match than a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. You don't see that a ton, do you, with a cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Now here's a throw. It's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Forced out to his left. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. Second and seven. Here's a give to ETM. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. Justin Herbert leading this unit out for their next possession. And the numbers for the last drive, and he was perfect, which maybe isn't surprising because he has not missed a pass in this game yet. And it lets you know just how precise things have to be for a quarterback to be perfect because that means the line's blocking really well, no one's dropping any of the passes thrown to them, and the quarterback is accurate. It's almost like a pitcher throwing a no-hitter or a perfect game, isn't it? He's the principal guy, but he needs a lot of help. Time to find out if he can keep that perfect game going here, partner. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game.
Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Escaping the pressure right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Throwing again on second and 10. Herbert. And he comes back with one complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 22-yard line. Herbert throwing again. <laughs> I can't help but chuckle a little bit because at this point... And it's caught. Touchdown. A great effort there. On his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And his guys are going to take the lead. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. A drive that time of six plays. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. To throw is Watson, left side to Lamb. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. It's hurry up mode time for the Texans, hustling up to the line. He completes it to Boyd. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Watson on first down. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Watson looks to throw again. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Lamb. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. So we've reached halftime here on New Year's Eve. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports halftime report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin up at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. And it's the Ravens who have the lead as they play the second quarter. The Ravens looking to sew that one up, and they look to be in pretty good shape. From there, we head to the Big Easy to check on the Saints at home in the Superdome. And you can see there, it's the visiting L.A. Rams who have the lead in that one. Chase Claypool, a touchdown reception. Finally, let's get right to the center of the U.S. map and check in on the Chiefs at home in Kansas City. And it was the visiting Atlanta Falcons who come in and get the victory. Mike Evans, a touchdown catch in the victory. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? Find out. We give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden 
and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three from the six. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Justin Herbert leading this unit out for their next possession. And a trio of touchdown passes so far. They've got the lead as well. All is good in their football world at this point. And it's so much fun for our colleagues, right? Think about our producer, our director, everyone putting together these shots. Wouldn't you love to be in the truck right now and hear him calling for it? Give me that one, give me that one, give me that one. And we just saw three beautiful touchdown passes. Now he's looking for four. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll... those running backs going and give them more opportunities and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime.
So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Herbert. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Oh, now Miller slow and getting up. He's still down on the ground. We'll check on his status when we get back. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Herbert operating from the red zone. And this is caught at the 8. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Again, Herbert flush to his right. Herbert has it knocked free. And the Texans say they have it. They do. All I know, partners, that with every play call that came in, there was a little discussion about, hey, we can seal this bad boy. We can really put ourselves in a great spot to take total control. And yet, they find a way to cough it up. Yeah, the two-score game opportunity eludes them. And now, a chance for the other side to come back here. Yeah, that means defense has to go out there and make some plays themselves. So we call sudden change. Let's see if the defense is mentally ready to take care of it. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. To throw on second and 10, Watson. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. On first down, it's Watson. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. On the counter, ETN, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. He gets this one to Boyd. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. On first and 10, Watson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Third quarter action here in this regular season finale. This will be second and 10. Here's Watson. He's got his man, Gates. Touchdown, Texans. A great play there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. The extra point splits the uprights, and that will tie our game here in the third. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. 
We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. From just shy of midfield, Herbert dancing to his left. And Herbert going to slide to a stop, and he has a first down. And now they're in the hurry up. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. On first down, Justin Herbert. Throwing middle, and it's complete. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Three yards to go on second down, and they've got three tight ends out there. Jumbo set. Steps away to his left, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. He finds his man complete. That's Silva. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 12-yard line. And he's got it. Touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Caps answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So, Charles, this game feels like it has been punch, counterpunch all throughout, and that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again. You talk about those punches and counterpunches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, who's going to make the play to change that, right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make a play and give their team a firm advantage? Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Out now comes the Houston offense as you take a look at the playoff picture in the AFC. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. On first down, Watson. He'll drop this one off with ETN. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it's a second down. Running out of the gun with ETN. And this will be a Texans first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. A shotgun snap for Watson. Able to hit his target, Lamb. Three yards the game there, second down. Here's Watson. And incomplete. Good coverage on the outside, and I think that's where he wanted to check that down to. But once he saw the danger over there, he just threw that one over everyone's head. Smart play. Throwing on third down, Watson. And that is 
It's incomplete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. The Texans send the punter out as he'll punt it away for the second time. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. From the 50, here's Herbert. Over the middle, it's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. On first down, it's Herbert. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Eluding the pressure right. Throwing right, and that's complete. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Coming up on second and seven. Now it's Herbert. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Herbert now to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Herbert. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Now Herbert. That is caught at the seven. Pitch and catch there good for 13. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Being chased out left. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. And here's a big one now. Trying to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially solve this one away. But with the late lead, Herbert's going to throw it. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you've still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while or you call it a day? You can do that or you pick something that's a staple for you and should work better and try and execute that on the way out the door and maybe get back to base and feel a little bit better as you end a, as you end a ball game that's been a frustrating one for you. And we'll see if they go back to base. 
And he's going to pick up a first down here as that clock continues to run. One last throw here for Watson. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So for our visitors, they continue to show there'll be a tough out in the playoffs as they move to 14 and two on the year. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long from Houston.